So the problems that we really solve within our group is really creative ways to test product and mitigate risk. Dealing with quality or dealing with any sort of product, we have our customers and they're you know, external customers. So think about buying a car. When you buy a car, a brand new car at a dealership, do you want to see it nice and clean and waxed and looking gorgeous and beautiful, shiny rims, everything looking beautiful? Do you want dents on your car when you buy something new? No, right? You want something to look absolutely pristine. I just spent all this money on a brand new vehicle. I want it to look great. Well, so do our customers, right? They have a chip that they're purchasing. Well, not just one. They're purchasing thousands and hundreds of thousands of these chips. So they want to make sure that they come out looking pristine as well. Um, so some of the things we take a look at are issues like dye staining. Now you have to remember, we're dealing with these parts from the beginning when they're on a bare wafer so we chop them up and put them on a package, attach them, and handle them all the way through the assembly line until they're finally ready to go out into shipping. So every part of that process, the chips are actually being handled in some way by some machine or some piece of tooling. So we want to make sure that we don't in any way damage the parts, stain the parts, or mark them up. Some of the things that we do is in terms of loading and package warpage. Warpage is really how we kind of shape the parts. So why would we want control over the shape of the product? Well, the reason is, is we have a certain part. And let's say a big company that's going to purchase these, these components, they want to place them on a motherboard, right? So their motherboards are pretty much all the same shape, have the same type of flatness, have the same type of contactor, and they're expecting a package to come in and fit nice and neat without any sort of issues or problems. So I give them, if I can't consistently deliver a part at a specific shape, what does that mean for my vendor? Doesn't fit. Doesn't fit, right? Doesn't fit. So now we have a situation where we're junking parts, and that's not a good thing, right? So every process along the manufacturing line interacts with the package in one way or another. And how they interact with that package also affects the shape of the package. So we spend a lot of time focusing on making sure that we hit a certain amount of targets of how much we can shape that product along the, along the line. So certain modules or certain areas affect the part differently and others affect it the other way. So by the time it comes out, it needs to be kind of uniform in the way that our vendor is expecting it. Right? So here's an example of a bad thing where we apply a force on a die and what we have here is an unequal distribution on a contactor. So what you'll start to see is a corner of the package start to bend over time. So now I'll have this weird, funny shaped type of part that if I put into a contactor on a motherboard, I may have 10, 20 pins that never make contact. That's, that's a bad thing. That doesn't help us out much.